Hello, Leela Veronica here. And I am sharing what I just spoke to a group of high schoolers about. And I feel really inspired and I want to share with you. And I want to thank you if you commented on my post about what you would share with high schoolers about starting a business. I actually chose to speak today, not only about starting a business, but about my career path in general, because what I recognize is some of them might wanna start a business and some of them might wanna be in a more of a job career path and I've done both. And so I'll share some of the wisdom that I brought to the high schoolers that I think would be actually quite valuable for some of you. So uh, the first thing I, I did was share a little bit about my career path, and, and I spent about 15 years in the environmental science and policy world where I um, did consulting, and I worked for government organizations, and I worked for some nonprofit, and then I was in academia. So I have a lot of degrees, a lot of letters behind my name, bachelor's, master's. I went through um, did doctoral work and was teaching at Ohio State University environmental subjects. And then I got to a point where um, I had a bit of a, I don't know, a midlife crisis, a quarter life crisis, <laughs> a third of the life crisis. And um, my little brother says I had an eat, pray, love moment where I got into yoga, I physically felt love for myself for the first time. And I decided to leave my career and move across the country and change everything, you know, about my external circumstances in life and also work on loving myself and then helping other people love themselves. I started a business in 2014 was when I first started. And I've been able to have a successful business ever since. I started with the uh, with teaching yoga and then doing more body coaching, what I call um, body coaching. And then I started doing um, life coaching and business coaching. And so as you may know, if you're my friend, my colleague, my client, you know that I have multiple layers to my business. I have a Riverstone Movement, which is a um, movement series that I created based upon trainings and teachings and practices that I've done. I've, I've taken movement, um, mindfulness, and created super simple, accessible ways to sit, stand, walk, move through space so that you increase your power, have more presence, and improve your posture. So the way we show up in the world matters and the way we move through the world is the way the world moves through us. And so I still bring Riverstone movement into my client's life. I also have a business coaching component of my business. And what I focus on is teaching people how to create, sell and market high ticket offers to high end clients so that you offer a lot of value to the world and that you receive at a higher level. And so there's uh, three things that I spoke about today that I wanna share with you. And I taught the students is the first thing is own your worth. Uh, if you're not part of my Facebook group, Wow, Women Who Own Their Worth, let me know, I'll invite you in. But my intention, whether it be through the body or the business, um, investment for later in life is to help you own your worth and own your value and that you bring to the world. And so sometimes this isn't easy. And so in order to own your worth, you want to take care of yourself. You want to um, understand uh, what your you know value is in the marketplace. But when you don't know, what you do is you go to people who know you well. It might be friends, it might be family, it might be colleagues. Go to three people who know you well and ask them, what am I good at? What are my best assets and qualities? And then take note. And then if you ask three people that know you well, what are my best assets and qualities? They'll tell you, and then there's a pattern you'll pick up. They'll each say something that's very similar to the other. And what you can do then is take that information, bring it to the marketplace, 
bring it to your business, bring it to the career that you want to be in and uh, really understand the value and own it. So when other people tell you, it's often easier to see what you're good at. I had a mentor once say, you can't see the ingredients of the salad dressing bottle when you're on the inside. And it's important for us to reach out to people who know us well to let so that they let us know what we're good at and it helps us own our worth. So that's the first one. The second one is ask for help. <laughs> if I were to tell my younger self, one of those high school Leelas, I was Lillian at the time, uh, high school Lillian, uh, you know, if I were to tell her anything, it would have been ask for help, get a mentor, you know, get somebody who's willing to help you. And whether it be you're in business or a career, you, there's other people out there who've already done it, who have failed, have success, and are super willing to share their wisdom and their lessons. Most adults love to talk about their experiences. And if you just are willing to ask, ask for help with ideas, what's going to work? What's not going to work? What's my next step? What's my second step? My third step? And if you consistently ask for help from somebody, you'll be mentored, you'll be supported, you'll be loved. It'll be like family. And, you know, I told the youngsters in the, in the, high, in the high school, I said, you know, find a mentor, find somebody along the way who um, is doing the thing that you want to do and see if they'll mentor you, see if they'll meet with you once a month, once a quarter you know, every three months, um, what, you know, once a week, depends on what you, what you want, but even meeting with somebody once a month, getting ideas, that's 12 times a year, an adult meets with another young adult or an adult with another adult for you. And they'll be willing to support you and give you guidance along the way. It's been super valuable to me to have mentors, to have coaches, to have, um, you know, people that support me and see me and and value what I do, and they can see beyond what I could see. And if I would have done this years ago, I would have made it super even further in my life. I'm happy where I am, but I, I would say that is like my biggest wisdom to anybody younger is like, get help. <laughs> Don't try to do it on your own. I remember a time before I started my business, thinking to myself, I work hard, I'm smart, why can't I figure this life thing out? And that was the problem. I was trying to figure this life thing out all by myself instead of just asking somebody for help. And so when I started asking for help and getting people's wisdom that had been on planet earth, that had been in a path before me, things started to get a lot easier. So that's the second piece. So number one, own your worth. Number two, ask for help. And number three is energy plus strategy equals success. So if you were somebody who posted on my uh, Facebook post yesterday about what would you tell high schoolers about starting a business, there were different things. There were some people who talked about like your energy, your, you as a person. And there were some people who talked about strategy, like grit and perseverance. And what I would say, it's both. You, you've got to have the, the kind of energy that's powerful, that's present, that's attractive. People want to be around people who feel good. People want to be around people who make them feel good. And so it's my job every single day when I'm not here with you to take care of my energy, to be at a high level of positivity and have a strong will. And that's not to say that you won't have some days that are down or you might be sad or depressed or angry or overwhelmed or confused or stuck. But what you want to do is use that as a catapult for the next day the next hour, the next minute to be happy, feel good, positive, have a strong will, <laughs> courageous, playful, connected, all of that. As long as you're, you know, more of your days, significantly more of your days are good, quote, good days, great energy days. Um, people will feel that all around, whether you're in a career or your business or anything. The number one thing I hear from people is, I love your energy, Leila. They don't say, I love your strategy. They say, I love your energy. 
So I know that my energy matters to my success. Strategy matters as well. So if you're trying to figure out how to get clients, how to start a business, how to grow a business, stop. Don't try to figure it out. Just go to the people who have the strategies that work. All of that strategy stuff will work as long as your energy is in alignment. When you're in alignment, when you're owning your worth, when you're asking for help, not trying to do it all on your own, all of those strategies will work. When your energy is wonky, the strategy won't work. So if you're just focused on strategy of how do I do the thing to get the thing, it won't work. It's how do I do the thing to get the thing and how do I have the energy that I need to do the thing to get the thing? That is success. So as a wrap up, three things. Number one, own your worth. If you need help owning your worth, ask other people what you're good at. Number two, ask for help. Get advice from others who have done it before you and are doing it well. They'll tell you what to do. They'll tell you how to be. And then number three, your energy plus the strategy is how you become successful, whether it be in a career, in a business, in relationship, anything in life. And so if you want help uh, you know, with your business, whether it be enrolling high ticket clients, selling your services, uh, or, or you know, increasing your capacity with your marketing, reach out to me. We'll have a conversation and I'll show you how I've done it and how I've helped people all around the world do it. And um, if you want my personal help, I'll help you do it. I hope this was helpful. I think the wisdom that we impart on the young people is a key component to our, our you know, future success in the world. So um, I hope this was helpful to you too.